Hello everyone, welcome to Hacker Heap. In this video, we will look into what a binary search is and how the binary search algorithm works. Binary search is a logarithmic search algorithm which performs the search in order of login times. In a linear search, where you have to search for an element, in a linear search, it takes an order of n times the worst case if the element that we are supposed to find is in the last index. And this binary search uses divide and conquer approach where it divides the given collection of elements into half each time for every iteration until it finds the number or if we don't find the number. And one more thing, binary search only works on a sorted collection. So let's Take an example and see how binary search works. So let's take an array of numbers and the target element that we are supposed to find is 10. In a linear search algorithm, if you use a linear search approach, uh, it will take O of n times to find 10. So the time complexity would be O of 1 if you perform a linear search. So now how a binary search works is uh, we divide uh, the given array into equal halves by finding out the mid index. Uh, so we find the mid using the left index, the starting index and the right index, which is the last index, right by two. In this case, mid would be two, which is seven. Now, once we find the mid, what we do is if we check if target is equal to the value at the mid, so A of mid, then we found the element we are looking for. If not, what we do is if, let's say if the target is greater than A of mid, which is true in this case, so because 10 is greater than 7, what we do is uh, we will shift this left index to mid plus 1. So then now the left index would be left would be 2 plus 1, which is 3. If let's say if the target is less than A of mid, what we do is we move this right index to mid minus 1 right is equal to mid minus one, which would be one. In this case, left becomes three and right is still four because the target is greater than the mid element. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to eliminate uh, the search for all the numbers that are lower than the target. So if we figured that the target element is greater than the mid. So we don't have to look at all these numbers. So we are reducing the time complexity by n by two each time. So, and then we come here and now the mid is at nine. So now in the second iteration, what happens is uh, now the mid becomes, in iteration two, the mid would become three plus four by two, which in this case would return three again. Now it checks if the target is uh, equal to mid, which is not. If the target is greater than mid, that's true. 10 is greater than nine. So again, we change left to four and right still remains the four. In the third iteration, this is iteration two. In the third iteration, mid would become left plus right by two, which is four and iteration two three. Now we will check if the target is equal to the value at the index of mid, which is true, 10 is equal to 10, and we would just return mid. So if you observe using the binary search approach, all we did is three iterations for five elements, which is like we eliminated the search for all these elements. And it is more visible if the array is of, of larger size. So we did uh, we just did three operations instead of uh, five operations, which would have been done in linear search. So now let's go ahead and write the code for binary search. 
So I have my lead code open here. If you're not aware of lead code, lead code is uh, a platform where you can practice algorithms and data structures and it is most popular. Uh, I'm sure you might have known about it already. So let me go ahead and uh, write the code. So as we talked in a binary search, what we are doing is we are dividing the given collection, in this case nums, into two equal halves using uh, by finding the mid. So let's go ahead and do it. So now the left index initially would be zero, which is the starting point, and the right index would be nums dot length minus one. Now we need to divide the array until the left index uh, is less than or equal to right because if it's greater that means we didn't find the element and we will return a minus one which was asked here so while left less than or equal to right all i am doing is i find a mid which is left plus right by two as we talked earlier we will check if the mid element is equal to target, if nums of mid equal to target, we would just return mid if nums of mid less than the target. What we do is left is equal to plus one, else if nums of mid greater than the target, we will move the right index to mid minus one. If we didn't find the given element, we would return minus one. Let's go ahead and run this. All right. So it got accepted. So there is one edge case scenario. Let's say if uh, as we've seen in the previous example, when the left and right becomes equal, and if the array is so large, the integer can hold it. Let's say it's a, if the left and right index are two power 31, which is the highest number in the index. So when we try to add those, it will go out of bounds, which we don't want to happen. So in this case, to keep it in bounds, we can so to keep it in bound, what we can do is we can calculate the mid using right minus left by two, which would all, which will help us if the index goes out of bounds. So yeah, so it worked. I hope it helps you understand the problem binary search algorithm, and we will look into different search algorithms uh, in the coming videos. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and like the video.